It's finally summer. I was so ready. I am going to the beach for vacation and I need to pack my suitcase. I had forgotten. Will you help me? Let's start with this t-shirt. Let's see how it looks on me. It looks great. T-shirt, in you go. I will need some cool shorts since it's summer. I'm going to try these ones. Let's see how they are. Great, so comfortable. Shorts, in you go. I really want to swim. I can't forget my bathing suit. I'll take this one. It's my favorite. Bathing suit, in you go. It's also really important to remember flip-flops. They are very cool and comfortable shoes. Perfect for this vacation. Flip-flops, in you go. I have quite a few skirts. I don't know which one to take. This one or this one? Which one do you like most? Hmm, how about this one? I will take both just in case. Skirt, in you go. I love these dresses. I'll pack this really pretty one. It looks so good. Do you like it? Dress, in you go. I will also need a pair of long pants just in case it gets chilly at night. Let's see how these ones look. They look really good. Pants, in you go. And this shirt will go great with those pants. I love this color. It looks great on me. Shirt, inside. It's really important that we don't forget our underwear. I don't think I'll try this on. <laughs> underwear, in you go. We put socks on our feet. I will pack a few pairs. Great, socks, in, in, in. Oh, I don't know what tennis shoes to take on this trip. I think I'll take these ones that I got for my birthday. So comfortable. Tennis shoes, in you go. And finally, sunglasses to protect my eyes. Sunglasses, wow, they look great. I think I will just keep these ones on. That's everything. Thanks for your help. See you at the beach. Let's open the suitcase. I hope I didn't forget anything. Sunglasses. Tennis shoes. Socks. Underwear. Shirt. Pants. Dress. Skirt. Flip flops. Bathing suit. Shorts. T shirt. Awesome. Everything is here. Time for a good swim. It's so cold. It's finally winter vacation and I'm going to the mountains. And I have to pack my suitcase. I completely forgot. Will you help me? We are going to start by packing a pullover. Let's see how it looks on me. Great. It's nice and warm. Pullover. In you go. I also think it would be a good idea to take a sweater. I'll pack this one. I really like the design it has. Sweater, in you go. They say that it's going to snow. Surely with this coat, I won't get cold. Coat, in you go. To cover my neck well, I will need a scarf. I'm going to pack this wool one that my grandmother knitted. Scarf, in you go. I have some gloves that match my scarf and protect my hands from the cold. Gloves, in you go. I also need to protect my head from the cold with a good hat. Which one should I take? This one with the pom-pom or this other one? I think this one fits me better. Hat, in you go. Just in case it isn't as cold one day, I will take a jacket. I like this one a lot. Jacket, in you go. What shoes should I take? I like these ones a lot. Oh, but these ones too. <laughs> Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. These ones, shoes. In you go. We also should take a good pair of boots just in case it snows. 
These ones are really comfortable. Boots. In you go. We can't forget a pair of jeans. I have so many. I would take them all, but they won't fit in my suitcase. I will choose these ones. Jeans. In you go. I also can't forget my belt so that my pants won't fall down. Belt. In. And finally, some pajamas to sleep cozy and warm. Pajamas. In you go. That's everything. See you in the mountains. Let's open the suitcase. I hope I didn't forget anything. Pajamas. Belt. Jeans. Boots. Shoes. Jacket. Hat. Gloves. Scarf. Coat. Sweater. Pullover. Awesome, that's everything. Time to play in the snow. The human body. The human body is made up of different parts. The head, the trunk, and our upper and lower limbs. It is important to care for the human body by eating well and doing exercise to stay healthy. Today we'll talk about parts of the head. Your eyes, nose, mouth, ears, and hair are on your head. You can see with your eyes. Your sense of vision is found in your eyes. They are protected by your eyelids, eyelashes, and eyebrows. Your eyelids are a muscle that allow you to open and close your eyes. Eyelashes are small hairs that protect your eyes from dust and dirt. Eyebrows are above your eye. They are a group of small hairs that make a curve. You can smell with your nose. Your sense of smell is found in your nose. Your tongue, teeth, and lips are in your mouth. You can taste food with your tongue. Your sense of taste is found in your tongue. You have 32 teeth. You can crush food with your teeth. Your lips go around your mouth. Your hair protects your head so that it doesn't get too cold. Your ears are on both sides of your head. You can hear thanks to them. And this is another one of our senses. Today we'll talk about parts of the body. The trunk is the central part of your body and here you can find your chest, back, abdomen, and shoulders. Your neck connects the head and the trunk. Your chest is the part of your trunk that goes up when you breathe through your nose. Your abdomen is under your chest. In your abdomen, you can find your belly button. Your back is behind your chest and abdomen. Upper limbs. Your shoulder is a joint that connects your trunk to your arm. Your joints allow you to move the parts of your body. Your upper limbs are your arms. Your arm is connected to the trunk by your shoulder. You can find your elbow, wrist, hand, fingers, and nails on your arm. Your elbow is a joint. You can bend your arm with it. Your wrist is a joint that connects your hand and arm. On your hand, you have the palm of your hand and your fingers. Here we can find our sense of touch that is also all over our skin. You have five fingers on your hand. Your thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, and pinky. Your nails are the hard part that you can find at your fingertips. Lower limbs. Lower limbs are your legs. Your legs are connected to the trunk by your hips. On your leg, you can find your knee, ankle, feet, and toes. 
Your knee is a joint. With them, you can bend your legs. Your ankle is a joint that connects your leg to your foot. Your feet support your entire body so that you can walk. We have five toes, just like the fingers on our hands. Toes help us keep our balance when we walk. There you go! Those are the parts of the body. Want to keep learning? Subscribe to the Smile and Learn channel by clicking on the seal.